Hello, I am David W. Parker, and this is Programming Today I Learned, WebGL series, episode 41. We're going to be looking at GL Matrix, this new library, or new for the series. It's a pretty old library, uh, and it's great for doing matrix math and things that you'd like to be doing with uh, WebGL. So if we look real quick at the website, you can see it's glmatrix.net, and it says JavaScript Matrix and Vector Library for high-performance WebGL apps. So check them out if you'd like to learn more about that. But we'll be using them going forward for a lot of our stuff so that we don't have to re-implement all this from scratch. So in this episode, we're going to go ahead and be doing uh, using their library, and I'll show you how we're converting things over. We've move, moved over the vendor scripts into their own uh, vendor folder here, and we're keeping our own libs separate. So if we go ahead and look in the index here, everything is the same until, of course, we get down to the bottom. And you can see we have these new globals, MAP4, VEC3, are the ones we're going to be using today. And you can see that this is basically a matrix 4 and a 3-dimensional uh, vector. So very, very simple. Here is the uh, initial drawn out triangle. And as before, it's going to rotate counterclockwise, and this is by 45 degrees. And this is by 90 degrees. And this is exactly the same as what we were doing in the previous episode with two-dimensional rotations, but we're using their library now. So you're going to need to take a look at their API, but for, we'll just go through a couple of them for now. Uh, dot .create is how you're going to create a new instance of a matrix or a vector. Um, in this case, though, we're going to use from values for the vector so we can have predefined values. Create doesn't take any options in to predefine it, so we're not using create in that instance. So we have a matrix here, and this is just an identity matrix, and this vector has the values of 0, 0, 1. So what that's going to tell us is we're going to be rotating around the z-axis, which is the third uh, value here. We're going to be giving it this radians, and then we're going to be giving it this matrix, identity matrix, and we're going to rotate around that. And that'll give us our rotation matrix. And that ends up with this exact same result as we have right here. So underneath the hood, this matrix 4 is implemented with the float32 array as before. So that's it. Play with it. Uh, look at their API. We're going to be using them going forward, like I said, and being able to do a lot of really cool things with what they've already built. Uh, if you like what you saw today, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, like the video. Share it on social media, if you will. And go to programmingtil.com and sign up for my newsletter. Have a good one.